Hello guys welcome to my channel. For today's video I will teach you a more unique method of making a pattern. If you are new to my channel demo tutorial, I invite you to subscribe. For the next time if you upload a video it will be updated. So without further ado let's get started. Body length 28 and a half. Then draw the line from the shoulder line down 10 inches to the chest line and that's my standard the back figure is 17 the shoulder measurement is 17 the chest circumference is 38 the waistline is 34 the size of the hips is 39 now we are done drawing the main body lines at the waistline Let's subtract 3 fourths for the deep back, or 7 eighths, here with the hips at centre back. It's up to you if you want to make it straight, but I often have a curve here, except if they are checkered and the hips are not so bulging. That way it won't pull the vent to the side or the centre back. Just watch the video until the end. Just follow the video guys, or else just watch it over and over again to fully learn. Next we will draw deep back. From the waistline, just raise it a little about 3 inches. That's where you start drawing another curve. It's up to you how you proportion the curve of the client's body. Please don't forget to like and share my video so that we can help many more who want to learn how to make a suit pattern. The neck opening is 2 and 3 fourths. The size at the height of the nape is 7 eighths, or maybe 3 fourths. My down slope was 2 and a half. That's my standard, except if the slope of his shoulder is lower, we'll adjust. The shoulder measurement is 17 plus half an inch for a seam allowance. Let's just draw the shoulder and also the nape and neckline. The size chest circumference is 38 as is this. Measurements. Here's what I teach in the video. Keep an eye on it. You should always start measuring in the middle. Just follow the video. The waistline measures 34 inches. Don't forget to add a half an inch allowance for the tucks in the front. Here on the hips the size is 39. From here on the chest line, just raise two and a half or two and one fourth. Okay guys, watch the video carefully, because I will teach you how to separate the cutting on the side of the suit from the side, as you can see in the video. I just follow the line of the body up to the hips. That's the drawing for the back part of the suit. Now I'm going to teach you again how I draw a pattern for the front part. Watch carefully because it's different from everyone else, from the shoulder point to the nape. Just divide in the middle as you can see in the video. Just squalor from the center and draw. From the center back to the nape. Here, start drawing down, just follow the slope of the shoulder of the back part like I do in the video. The line from the center of the back shoulder is the shoulder point of the front. From the shoulder point, you just squalor down like in the video. Subtract at least one and a half inches from the front width. Now you will slowly see the front part that has a unique method. Now you can see our armhole right away, even though the front part is not finished yet. Now this is the front part and this is the back part. The quality is because you can see the front part right away and the armhole is right there, unlike the old patterning method. Tapos. 
Now we will measure the armhole. Subtract the seam allowance while taking the total armhole. Measurement. The measurement of the armhole came out to be 19 and 1 fourth. Okay, 19 and 1 fourth. Now here is our back part. At same time, the front part is also here and the armhole. And you can see the armhole right away. Now let's draw the side vent. The pattern has already seam allowance half inch. Just follow what I'm doing in the video. I'll say it again. Just do it like that and get it down here. Then let's start cutting the side blade. Now that comes from here. Then let's start cutting. Let's just pencil first. Because this is just a tutorial, so as not to get dirty with the pattern. From the straight line plus one inch to the hips. Because you will. Notice what I drew is a pencil, because we will repeat it with a clearer drawing. Now the blade is there as you can see. It's up to you guys. How to make the suit better for each of your clients. Just arrange it carefully, so that you can gain the trust of your customers, and just follow the video, so you don't get confused. And here with the shoulder slope, let's just curve it, a little more. Just follow my way of curving using the hip curve. The difference guys is that you can immediately see the front part and the armhole in the pattern of the back part. Now we will draw the main lines for the front part. Let's just follow the side of the back part and you can add the hips if necessary. Now let's separate the front part from the back part pattern. Let's just trace the same in the armhole and the shoulder slope. Now let's draw a vertical line and clarify the drawings in tracing the pattern. If you want it easier, you can use tracing paper, but if it's not available, just imitate the one in the video. As for the armhole, I'll just repeat it so it's clear in the video. If there is anything you do not understand in this tutorial, you can ask questions in the comments section and I will try to answer as much as I can. Here joint shoulders should be smaller in the front than the back part of at least 3 eighths an inch. Let's just draw the border from the shoulder points to the neck. Let's just measure the back width. The back width is seven and a half. In the waistline or tummy is six and a half. Those with hips are seven and one fourth. The chest circumference measurements are 38. At the waistline is 34. The hips are 39. Now let's put the total measurements. From here to the size of 38, let's add overlap. Our overlap for double-breasted is 2 and 1 fourth. That's half of the 4 and a half inches of overlap in the double-breasted. Here in my tutorial, the overlap I made is 4 and a half. When it's the actual costumer, it's up to you to proportion the width of the lapel and its overlap. With this method, we can be sure that we can pattern our customers suit correctly and properly. Okay. Don't forget to put three-fourths allowance for buttonholes. Yeah. As for the chest pocket, it's up to you where you want to put it because the height of the customer is different. After drawing a chest pocket mark in the middle and center the line of tucks there. 
Our pocket should be level with the vent of the suit. The vent is 8 inches and that's my standard. When it's actually that it's up to you because the height of the costumer is different. From the chest pocket down one and a half. Then let's start drawing tucks up to the pocket. Next to the last button, you should be level with the pocket and vent. The design of our double breasted is 6 by 2. Double breasted 6 by 2, what does this mean? Means 6 buttons, but only 2. Are functional, the other buttons are just design. And since this is a tutorial, the pocket flaps must be drawn to make it clear. Just follow and watch the video, guys. Because we still have sleeves that you should learn. Watch carefully, guys, as you can see I minus one fourth. And because we put tucks, it is necessary to add half an inch to maintain the size of the waistline and not reduce it. Just imitate how I do it, guys. I know you can understand it. Study this method carefully, guys. You will definitely go far. The next thing we will do is the lapel. From the sewing line plus seven eighths. Then draw the line, because that's where the width or size of the lapel starts. Now let's measure the width of the lapel. The width of our lapel is four and a half inches. If you want to do four or three and a half inches, that's fine too. As long as it comes to the actual, but we must know proportion. Just copy how I made a lapel. Proportion is still needed to make the lapel the most important. Thing is to improve the sewing and learn what is the strategy for the lapel to roll properly. Now we will make a design for the lapel and first we will only draw with a pencil so that it looks clean. As you can see I divided the width of the lapel. That's one way. Look attractive is my peak lapel design. That part is making our collar. Just follow and you will see the best result of the collar. We will only draw with a pencil first and you will see the clean results when I repeat with a pen. Just improve the collar because it is also one of the things that bring attractiveness to the suit. We'll just draw again with a pen so you can see it clearly. Now you can see the design, which is attractive to look at even in the pattern alone. Next, we just fold it as you can see. Then fold it with the lapel line. Now we need to trace the lapel.
minus i itu plus i itu ya So, ang bicep natin ay 15 or gawin natin 15 and half. No? 15 and half. So, tandaan niya itong 15 and half na ito. Lagyan ko ng X. No? Plus allowance. So, it allowance ng ating uh, manggas. No? It allowance na siya. Ayan. So, dito 15 15 and half no? So 15 and half Ayan. 15 and half So note Ang um, Ang arm hole natin ay 19 1 1 fourth No So 19 and 1 fourth hanapin niyo sa half sa 1 half or sa half yung 19 and 1 fourth. So yung 19 and 1 fourth na yon ilagay niyo dito sa may uh, sukat na yan no. So 19 and 1 fourth galaw-galawin niyo lang dito no. So maglagay kayo ng allowance no. So 19 and 1 fourth ayan siya dito no. 19 and 1 fourth plus allowance. So patin niyo ito ayan. 6 and 1 fourth Ayan Okay So dahil may mga allowance tong ano natin Mag plus tayo ng half inch Plus half inch Okay So dito plus 7 8 Depende sa inyo kung 1 inch 7 8 So ang 7, 8, 10, 7, 8. So, 1 and 3 fourths. So, 1 and 3 fourths. Lapis ko lang. Lapis lang muna tayo. Yan, baba nyo lang. 1 and 3 fourths. Lapis muna. Ang length ay 20, 23. Yeah. 23. Yeah. So dito mas maganda yung forma nito pag 1 and 1 and 1 fourth. No? So 1 and 1 fourth. So 1 and 3 fourth. Okay. 1 and 3 fourths. Ayan yung sleeve natin. Ayan. Okay. So not ito na. So, na dito, 11, 5.5, plus 1 inch, allowance. Yung 23, sa gitna kayo mag-sukat, pag ganyan. No? Ayan, so na Ayan. Ok. 
Okay. Okay. So, susukatin nyo ito, no? Mula dyan. Mula dito. Okay guys, we're almost done. Hope you learned something. From this video tutorial, thank you very much for watching.